Why is Man of Steel so important to Warner Brothers? Because it can impact the studio in more ways than you can imagine. Warner Brothers has long been the most stable studio in town, but now faces tremendous uncertainty for a litany of reasons. Warner Brothers has been near the top in market share for several years now thanks to franchises like Harry Potter, The Dark Knight, and most recently Hangover. All those franchises are now over, and besides The Hobbit, Warner Brothers doesn't have much to fill the hole. Most of the movies that could either have big question marks around them or are still in development at the studio. Man of Steel can breed multiple franchises thanks to Warner Brothers' library of DC Comics characters like The Flash, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. Now Disney and Marvel have already laid the blueprint for how one takes a team of superheroes, the Avengers, and turns it into a cascade of profitable movies. It began with Iron Man, then turned to Thor and Captain America, then went to Avengers, and is now opening it up for even more movies, whether it's a Justice League movie, a Batman vs. Superman movie, or movies for secondary characters like Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Green Lantern, etc. Warner Brothers would love to do the same thing, but it's all predicated on Man of Steel opening this weekend.